Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Ice Nine Kills, and it's the next song in this horror um, movie thon of fucking videos that they're doing. And I absolutely love these. This is one of my favourite um, rabbit holes so far, just for the horror elements. It really, really, really resonates with me because obviously I like horror films like people. No one here. Now this one is called Stabbed in the Dark. I'm not sure whether to, I mean. I'm going to speculate it's either Scream or Halloween. It's one or the others because they're, they're known for stabbing. Uh, so I'm really, really intrigued to see which way they go. It might not even be them. It could be something else. But we've already done Friday the 13th. So it's, I don't think it's going to do that again, are they? So uh, anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like the videos, then please consider hitting like and subscribe. It supports me. It supports the channel. And I appreciate it very, very, very much. So without further ado, let's get into this. This is Ice Nine Kills, Stabbed in the Dark. The next one in the horathon, if you like. Let's go. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Well, I'm glad you've come back, Spencer. I love the fact he's tying in the gigs that Ice Nine Kills have done, uh, even if they're, they're not even real gigs that they've done, with the murders or the suicides within the um, the different areas of America where the gigs were played. Um, it's a good little twist, and it makes it like like a proper horror film, because like, they, because they're making the the things add up to him being a murderer, and he's obviously he's still doing his research. Well, I'm glad you've come back, Spencer. Well, the nightmares don't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon, Doctor. Hmm. I'm sure. In your last session, you seemed reticent to delve into the memories of your childhood. I just feel like that if we can probe those childhood memories, it may help us get to the root cause of the problem, as opposed to just regurgitating the same old new nightmares. It's funny that you say that because my most recent nightmares have been about myself as a child. And you're sure it was a dream and not a memory? It's probing. Well, that's what was so strange about it. I'm dreaming about myself as a child, but also as a spectator, sort of watching the story unfold from the outside. Well, it can be common in childhood recollections. I mean, if we are told something happened to us and don't quite remember it. So, I'm a little boy, and I've got a babysitter, and she looks very much like your colleague, Dr. Stonebridge. Again? My parents are out of town, and she invites her friends over, and they bring booze and drugs, and they invite guys over. But the guys that come over are the guys from my band. And one of them has a girlfriend that looks just like your receptionist, Karen. And I just remember being so nervous that my parents are going to come home and that everyone's going to get into trouble. I mean, trouble with your parents, though. It's not exactly the kind of grisly stuff your nightmares are normally made of, now, is it? Well. If only it were trouble with just parents. I didn't tell you about the Shadow Man. Ooh, the Shadow Man. Incalculated silence, captivated by the violence I replay. 
15 years ago today. Ooh. Oh, an evil evolution will bring a feeble institution to its knees. Oh, doctor, can't you see? Ooh, oh, a bef- a, lyrically, this is pointing towards um, Halloween because the in- institutionalized part of it and the fact that um, he's like, he's, he's, he's he says like something about killing in silence or something, and obviously the saying he's the shadow man as well. So I am now um, thinking it's pointing towards Halloween, which is cool. Plus the you've got like the ding ding ding, ding in the background. It's not quite the Halloween tune, but it's a similar sort of um, note, if you like. Evolution will bring a feeble institution to its knees. Oh, doctor, can't you see? That when the hands of fate Ooh. Turn the midnight hour Behind this mask of hate I down the devil's power These are the devils oh. Oh. Whoa Wow <laughs> oh, Halloween! Fucking love Halloween. Absolutely love them movies, even though the guy never dies, even though he's appeared to have died multiple times. Ah, oh, where do you start with that? Eyeballs out and everything. That's just great fucking horror movie type scenarios within this song. And then it comes in like, Rah! let's fucking go. Oh man, this is amazing. So stereotypical of the Halloween movies, the way they've done this. Like they're going to get undressed and probably go by the the, the lake or whatever, or the pool or whatever. You know, they, you know they're going to get stabbed while they're vulnerable. Oh my god! I did notice as well in the background of the music, um, the guitar work was they were playing the Halloween theme, but with a the guitar instead of like a piano, which is very 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 cool. There's so much in these Ice Nine Kills videos and music that you pick up and there's so much that you miss so you know you, you, you have to go back and watch them again and again and again because I love horror movies anyway as you know but fucking hell this is pff, love it Go! songs are, they're, they're, I know I keep saying that these songs are amazing absolutely brilliant and I love the references within the lyrics to the films um, that they're portraying with, within the music video man, 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 man wow I don't even know what else to say I love the fact that he's got a 9 on his head 
Because <laughs> it's, it's a Halloween mask, but it's got a nine on it for obviously Ice Nine Kills. It's it, oh, the authenticity to the movies within these videos is fucking unreal. And you know, as a, as a collective series of songs with the videos that follow on, I think these are my favourites so far and I love the fact that they're making them more graphic as they get go along. I think this is actually my favourite video so far out of the whole set even though they're all friggin' epic but you know it's just the fact that the eyeballs are coming out and the, the throats are going and everything it's... I was just going to say before he started strangling, you may think you've killed him, but you haven't. If you've not seen Halloween, this is his 40. He gets knocked down, but he gets back up again. Not the song. It's, he just gets knocked down all the time and, and battered, and everyone thinks he's dead, and then he appears again and kills you. love these films I love these film videos oh my god I did like the reference in the in the lyrics as well where he's on about um, being like a demon and stuff and it, obviously because Mike they're saying they, they portray Michael Myers as being pure evil which you know he is, he is in the films that's what they, they characterise him as is pure evil and like I say the attention to detail within the lyrics that follow the movies in these videos are absolutely brilliant Oh my god, I do not want these videos to end. So was that Spencer as a kid um, and these events happened ages ago? Oh, wow. Oh, I love these. I love I love them. And I know I keep saying it, but I do. They're brilliant. They're just... That was definitely my favourite one on the set. Not that any of the others were bad or anything. That was just... It's, it, the, the notches are going higher, aren't they? And they, they they come in more graphic and stuff. Spencer, Spencer, you need to do some more horror film like videos like this. Even after I've done with these... You need to do more. Just, just do them for me, <laughs> please. Oh my god! And do, do you know what? I spend so much time talking about the videos and stuff. Don't talk about the music. The music is absolutely fucking fantastic. It's screaming. They've got the, the aggression. They've got the the little notations from the horror movies within the songs. They've, you know, and it's just like a perfect blend between screaming and singing and fast paced music, slowing down, going aggressive, cool as fuck videos. My fucking forte as well. <laughs> On to next week. Um, anyway, if you like my videos, then please consider hitting a like and subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon or follow me on any of the social medias, then they're all in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is see you on the next one.